Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Time Traveling Navy Seal Ninja Warrior VR, a game released on the Steam Store today by developer Fletcher St. Germain. It released for the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. It is on sale for $8.99. And I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program. And to be honest, I'm not sure this game is worth the price given the limited content. Uh, there's a tutorial and six levels. I did enjoy the game, but there's also not much there. Um, there's reasons to play the levels to try different things. You have different weapons you can use. And I believe you can go like for a total stealth, go to the goal, uh, just kill the objectives and get to the uh, portal. Or you can go for kill everyone. And there's some achievements I believe for not raising the alert of any of the guards for each of these levels. Now, even though the levels are basically the same, there are enough there is enough variety between the levels, so it does feel different. Uh, I especially like the Wild West level. Now, I'm not showing that. I'm actually showing the very last level because I wanted to show uh, all the types of gameplay. And this last level has a combination of everything uh, that I had seen before in the prior levels. Uh, I finally unlocked the uh, sniper rifle. So that's what I'm showing there. So, but you can go for different combination weapons. Uh, you can go for you know just a silencer and just kill your targets and get out of there. But you do have to kill your objective targets before the portal will open up. So it's up to you whether you want to kill uh, everyone else around. But you definitely have to kill the, those uh, objectives before the portal will open up so you can get out of there. Now um, there is a bit of platforming here at the very end. Those. Uh, last two levels do have platforming where you're basically playing Frogger with the vehicles. That took me a little while to get used to, but once you get to used to it, it's not that difficult. Um, the sniper rifle really made things a lot easier, uh, so it really changed up the gameplay for me because I was able to snipe targets from a distance, and that really wasn't uh, something that was possible in the earlier levels. In the earlier levels, you had to sneak around more. Uh, go in there more silently with a sniper rifle. Obviously, you can snipe them from a distance as long as you can see them. And so that's what I was doing. So the gameplay here is a little bit different than what I experienced in the earlier levels. But like I said, uh, the level designs are different. The themes are different. And the gameplay does change depending on the manner in which you choose to approach the level. Whether you want to go uh, silent like a ninja or whether you want to go in like Rambo. It, it's up to you. Uh, one of the levels there is a change up because you're just surrounded by enemies at the start so I don't believe it's possible to go full stealth. I don't know if it's possible to run around and not kill anything but the objectives on that level. I wasn't sure. Uh, I do know that you're graded super or A at the end and I wasn't able to get super R on any of them so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, or was it the opposite, that I got S on all of them, didn't get A on any of them? Hmm. But I do know that you're graded, uh, depending on how well you did. And for the most part, in every level, I decided to kill everyone and the objectives. I didn't finish a single level without having done that. Uh, for some strange reason, the sniper rifle didn't reach the long distance to the target. So I was surprised by that. I don't know if it just doesn't have enough range or if it's a bug. Um, there, I did experience a few bugs in this game. Uh, one thing that happened is when I died in the last two levels, I would get restarted at the prior level instead of the level that I was currently on. So that was one bug. Uh, there are some pathing issues, some clipping issues. Uh, nothing too major. I think the clipping is to be expected with this type of game. Uh, the art style for me, it was a little too basic. Uh, while I appreciate the different themes, uh, it really wasn't as pretty as you can see in this level. It just seems like they uh, hodgepodge different uh, ideas together in this world. And it just didn't make a lot of sense. There's like a castle next to some modern building next to a train. And this level 
didn't really make sense, which is a lot different from the earlier levels because the earlier levels, uh, they pretty much kept the theme the same. So this is one level that's really jump. It's like a uh, gumbo mix. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. But I can assure you this is the only level like that. But I thought I'd show it off anyways just to show you uh, what to expect. So you will see, obviously, these are some assets from the prior levels. Uh, there was a train in another le level. There was a building like this in another level. There was a castle in another level. So some ideas were definitely taken from the, the prior levels. Again, I don't know why that target wouldn't die. It seems like there would be in range, but I was a little confused on that. Uh, while I did have fun, it does get repetitive towards the uh, last levels, and I didn't find the frogger sections to be all that fun. Pretty much after the fourth level, my fun level went down uh, with this game. The climbing didn't also uh wasn't as polished as it should be for some reason you can climb anything at all anything that you can grab onto and you do get a feedback on your controller but it wasn't always consistent so every time i reached out thinking i could grab onto something i couldn't and i had to keep trying until i finally could grab onto something uh there is full locomotion and snap churning so that's good and for the most part uh the levels aren't very long I think the whole game took me about 80 minutes to finish and that was with a couple of deaths in between so this this game does not have a lot of content that's why i say for nine bucks i think it's a little overpriced for what it is i'm just gonna give it a neutral recommendation of five out of ten just the the shooting is not the best uh, i do appreciate that you have different weapons and you can have different tactics to conquer the level and that's interesting but the the follow through the execution is not the best so that's why I'm only leaving this as a 5 out of 10. I think it might appeal to some people, but overall, it, it's just rather mediocre. And so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm Fast Lawyer. If you liked my review, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.